This brilliant last-gen action-adventure game is criminally underrated. Enslaved, Odyssey to the West, explored. Introduction. Set in a future where everything has been destroyed, the story of Enslaved evokes a sense of a world moving past the end of humanity. Enslaved Odyssey to the West is an action-adventure game developed by Ninja Theory that was released in October 2010 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The game is set 150 years in the future post-apocalyptic world following a global war. It is loosely based on the Chinese novel Journey to the West, published in the 16th century during the Ming Dynasty and attributed to Wu Shang In. Initially pitched as a CGI film powered by Unreal Engine 3, Enslaved instead landed on the PS3 and Xbox 360 amongst serious competition from major studios, with the likes of Call of Duty Black Ops, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and God of War 3. But regardless of Enslaved's unnevitable position of being an unknown game in the sea of high-profile sequels, it managed to bring something different to the table, with a strong script, great level design, and a uniquely mesmerizing aesthetic. Exploring Enslaved The game's development started after the writers were inspired by life after people's design. Alex Garland manages to weave a beautiful dynamic between the two protagonists, Monkey and Trip. The duo must travel through the wasteland fighting groups of mechs and destroying turrets perked on the high ground ready to shred anything that moves into their path. The objective is finding a hidden village that offers the only glimmer of hope navigating through the ruins. Michael and Tripitaka must survive avoiding pools of water mixed with toxic chemicals and numerous mech humanoids who have taken over the world. Upon fixing a headband to an unconscious monkey, a shellfish yet scared Trip enslaves him to ensure her own survival. He must always obey her every command. He cannot run too far away, and he has to make sure that her heart never stops beating, or the consequence is unthinkable pain. This delicate relationship is the foundation upon which this great game has been built and serves as a driving force for your adventure. Having spent a lot of time in pre-production with the intent of being released as a CGI film, Enslaved Odyssey to the West delivers its players with some superbly produced cutscenes in which these characters interact, grow, and begin to feel like real human beings. The studio utilized motion capture in an effort to capture realistic human emotions. The technology was so advanced that according to Circus, the actor who plays Monkey, it allowed for better dialogue performances and an immersive experience as the actors were able to become emotionally engaged and delivered better performances. A gamer knows that he is connected to the characters emotionally when only a brief smile from Trip as she finds herself climbing on the back of Monkey's motorcycle tells him all that they need to know about her thoughts. The characters emote convincingly, and Enslaved manages to present the gaming community with one of the best facial animations and voice histronics in the game generation. The player primarily takes control of Monkey during this adventure. There is a symbolic relationship between the two characters. One does most of the grunt work and one is his cerebral counterpart. One of the most important aspects of the script was perhaps the characterization and interaction. Inspired by the 2001 PlayStation 2 game Eco, the interesting juxtaposition between the two protagonists and the evolution of the relationship as the story progresses makes Enslaved one of the best games in Ninja Theory's roster. The gameplay is straightforward like any other action adventure, where you start off with a fixed number of moves, a mix of offense and defense, and unlock more abilities as you progress through the various levels. The combat is basic and it has a sense of brutality as Monkey swings his staff around, slicing clean through the mechanical monsters. When enemies are defeated, they drop tech orbs that can be used to upgrade Monkey's abilities. Sometimes the camera is zoomed in ultra tight, which makes spotting enemies a difficult task but also increases the player's overall DPS. Most fights can be won with a combination of attacks and dodge defense moves when the health bar reads critical, and it is only when your enemies become more powerful than the true intensity of the confrontation is revealed. Trip's abilities are limited, and the player has the option to command Trip to use her different technical skills like hacking into computers, revealing hazards, and project temporary holographic decoys. The on-screen gaming HUD is compelling, presenting gamers with simplistic controls. The developers do a fine job of creating interesting contrasts in the HUD throughout the game. For instance, the headband the monkey wears allows him to tap into his vision to see his shield strength, enemy health, and mark points of interest. Ah! Oh! What the hell are you doing? A lot of enslaved gameplay revolves around navigating through treacherous platforms and precarious handholds, all while avoiding spinning blades and dancing flames. The dreamy landscape is a sharp contrast to the brutal combat sequences and it might prove liberating to the gamers to be able to move through the environment effortlessly. The game manages a steady pace of interesting experiences for approximately 11 hours and builds its characters methodically and organically. 
Built on Unreal Engine 3, the eye-catching visuals provide a fantastic backdrop for every section you visit, be that jumping over platforms, navigating through wastelands, solving clever puzzles, or riding a hoverboard during accelerating chases. The interesting juxtaposition between the characters along with its diverse gameplay situations make Enslaved consistently fun and exciting to play. What happened to Enslaved Odyssey 2 The West? Ninja Theory, known for its big names like Heavenly Swords in the past, had high hopes for Enslaved and went all out in the advertising campaign with numerous ads on the London Underground and TV as well as on and offline. But the plans for a sequel the next year was quickly shelved as the game managed to sell only 730,000 copies in the first 8 months of its release. Despite largely positive reviews including a whooping 8 out of 10 from Eurogamer and a decent Metacritic of 81, Enslaved Odyssey to the West was not able to quite make a mark. Being based on a very popular novel, it was not like the game was not an instant success amongst the gaming community, but due to issues with its price and longevity it did not meet the sales targets expected from it. Perhaps certain aspects of the combat seemed too easy for gaming veterans and thus, despite having received raving reviews for its strong artistic design, visual storytelling, advanced character animations, and being called the most visually original of the year, the game was quickly forgotten by the gaming community. After the release of games like The Last of Us, within three years which explored similar character dynamics but was far superior in terms of game development, Enslaved lost out on a lot of its consumer base. Being an old-fashioned single-player story-driven adventure game released in an era when multiplayer gaming had already begun to become the next big thing. Enslaved dropped drastically in sales charts with only 75k global sales of the PS3 version. But did Enslaved Odyssey to the West really deserve to be forgotten so soon? Enslaved is not perfect, but it is a fine example of how a gripping story and strong artistic design can easily overcome gameplay problems. Even if the movement and combat does not live up to its full potential, they seem like minor blemishes in an otherwise holistic experience. Enslaved Odyssey to the West keeps its players hooked with incredibly lifelike characters in an eminently satisfying journey as they get to witness Monkey and Trip grow emotionally as the game progresses. The striking visuals and memorable storytelling makes Enslaved a must-buy for every gaming enthusiastic. Twelve years since its release, Enslaved still remains a beautifully woven tale of two tethered souls who have developed a symbolic relationship. The game, forgotten by the majority of the gaming community, deserves a special mention for the diversity it presents in its gameplay and its breathtaking storytelling. The game ends on a bittersweet note with no simple resolution. Trip's last line is she says, did I do the right thing, after she finally exacts revenge on the creature that decimated all she cared for is hopeful yet ominous. Enslaved is colorful without being garish, heartfelt without being saccharine, rousing without being witlessly bombastic. The game walks a delicate line of storytelling, gameplay, and emotion all somehow without ever tumbling into excess. 